Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And today we're gonna to be setting up a fiber laser with a new lens. Actually, I'm not changing the lens, but I'm gonna show you how you would set up the laser if you did get a new lens. So I've had a couple people ask me about this and I've sent them to other videos on uh, Lightburn or whatever. And uh, one of my patrons just asked me, one of my uh, top level patrons just asked me if I could help him do his. So I figured I'd do this video and show you how to get it done quick and easy, probably faster than any of the other, other videos that you're going to find. So let's get started. Let's jump up over into Lightburn. I am using version 2.0 today. And the process is the same whether you're using 2.0 or 1.7 so today is the first day that it came out or actually the second day <laughs> and uh, I figured I may as well start using this in my videos from now on so uh, right now I've got as you can see the Monport 100 watt MOPA laser I've got it all set up on my workbench here so what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need to have a sheet of black paper I prefer scratch paper myself uh, it's sort of like a, a paper that kids design on. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to use today. It gives you some really colorful lines that are very easy to read and write on. And you'll see in just the next couple moments. So now that we've got that set up on the laser, you're also going to need a caliper or the metal ruler that came with your fiber laser let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i think that uh, almost everybody skips is you don't want to overwrite your current device if you've already installed it with your current lens so let's click on the devices button over here on the laser tab and in here we've got the monport 100 watt mopa and what i'm going to do here is right click on this and i'm going to duplicate it and it is a BSL fiber. And now I'm gonna name this the actual lens size. So we're gonna put in 175. And the X axis is 175, the Y is 175. So we'll hit next. And that's it, we're pretty much done. We'll go finish. And now you can see we have the MOPA 175 in there. So if you, had other lenses let's say you were uh, doing a 110 you would name it whatever the laser is 110 that way you can switch len lenses and quick and easy and switch profiles in the devices here so we'll just say okay to that and then the important thing is that once you've done that you need to pull down your drop down list over here and switch to that lens 175 so there we go we're all set we're switched over to that lens one thing you want to make sure when you first start, if we come up here to the wrench and uh, screwdriver icon and click on that, you wanna make sure that everything is the default settings. So uh, what you can do here, change all of these to, let's say 100, 100%, and then uh, one, 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 and the same thing over here, 100%, one, one, one. I'm just pressing tab to go through the menus and the scale well that's probably set already but those are the only things that we need to change in here make sure that you don't have a core file up in here if you do click the clear button and then go ahead and make your changes so I happen to know that uh, Galvo 2 is the x-axis so this is now my y-axis up here and this is my x-axis down here and now I can just say OK and we're ready to get started. So let's jump up here to the top menu. We're gonna click on laser tools and we're gonna come down here to calibrate Galvo lens. And we're gonna do the easy way. <laughs> this is built into Lightburn, so we're gonna do the nine point correction. Now, it's gonna ask us uh, to make sure that, first off, we have the right device, which we do and then material with high contrast which we have and then tells you right here black paper works well enter the working area of this laser it is 175 by 175 
So we'll click next and set the parameters. So I'm going to set this to uh, one, 1,000 millimeters per second, I guess. Uh, freak, we'll do a frequency of 40 and we'll do a Q pulse of 80. And now all we have to do is click frame. So when I click frame, that sends the job over to the laser. And let me switch over there so you can see it. And there you see, there is my paper. So I'm gonna get this down near a corner. And uh, that's close enough right there. So uh, what we wanna do now is just click the start button and let that job run. Now the next thing we have to do is take this off of the laser. Let me come back to my camera here. And noting that this is the top up here the, where I took it off the laser. So I'm just going to get my little wooden pencil that came with this paper and right top on the top of it right there and now I have to look at the orientation of the light burn dragon so if I pull this in real close I'm not sure that you can see this let me I'll take a picture of it and uh, I'll show you the picture but I have to note the way that dragon is oriented and I note that the uh, arrow on the dragon's tail is pointing to the top and the dragon's mouth is pointing down. So now we're going to go next over here. So the arrow is pointing to the top and the mouth is pointing down. So see this one right here? That's exactly what I see on my picture. So now I can click next and Carefully measure the distance of each indicated point to the vertical center line. Enter the measurements in the corresponding boxes on the right, which is over here. So now I'm going to do that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me go take those measurements and then we'll enter those into here. Okay, so uh, here we go. I turned another light on. Maybe you can see this this time. There's all of my, my numbers that I've recorded on this paper. And that's why I love this paper is because it's very easy to see. I don't know why it didn't show up earlier. But anyway, so now we're going to take these numbers starting with number one. I have them marked one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just going to put these numbers in here on the right side. So number one is 56.5, so I'll put in 56.5. Number two is 57. Number three is 57. Number four is 57.5. Number five is 57. And number six is 57.5. And now we can just click next. Now we're going to measure the points uh, on the Y this time. And again, the same thing, six different points. Okay, so uh, I've got all of my points marked on here in the order that they're shown on there. And we're just going to start putting in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 one more time. So I got uh, 58 on the first one. Let me put this in a place where I can just read it and move. I guess there is no place. All right, so 1 is 58. I'll press tab. Number 2 is 57.5. 
number 3 is 58 number 4 is 58 number 5 is 57 and number 6 is 58 now we can say next and now it's going to show us all of the results that we just got so uh, here it's going to show you Galvo 1, Galvo 2 and you'll see the actual size here along with the bulge, the skew and the trapezoid now, the maximum working size is going to be 175 by 175 and over here you see a little button called maximize working area so now that the calibration is complete we're just going to tick that off so it's something that Lightburn does that just maximizes your working area and we'll just turn that on and now we'll say done so now we're completely done and the next thing that we want to do is just check our measurements so I'm gonna grab a square over here a rectangle hold shift draw out a rectangle I forget I don't have to select it anymore <laughs> it's automatically selected all right we're gonna put this into line and um, I guess we can just press P to put it in the center and let's pick a round number here so let's make it uh, 80 and there we go so now we have 80 by 80 uh, let's go ahead and put this on the red layer like that and then cuts and layers um, let's see so we'll come over here to co2 we're going to again do a speed of i'll set my speed my power my frequency my q pulse all that kind of good stuff and now all we're going to do is just draw one line so I'll say OK and we'll just turn that one off I don't know where that one is or why it's even on there there's no black line let me see if I do that and say flash nothing happens so it's obviously not there don't know why it's there so now we'll just take a new piece of paper and drop it on the laser and run it okay I don't know what happened to that video but <laughs> I did burn another square uh, on a new piece of paper and I measured the X and I measured the Y so there's my measurements and they're way off from here I requested 80 by 80 and I got 138 by 139 so uh, I did something wrong in there but we can fix that so we're going to come back into the wrench and screwdriver icon and over here you're going to see uh, Galvo 2 is X so this is my X Galvo 1 is Y this is my Y over here and you'll see that's why we got the wrong numbers so what we're going to do is click these three little dots over here and calibrate the scale so on the X the requested size was 130 uh, was 80 excuse me was 80 and the measured size when I measured it was 138 so I'm gonna say okay to that and then I'm gonna click on these three dots for the Y axis and the requested size again was 80 and what I got was 139 so I'll put that in and say okay and now it automatically scaled to what the setting should be so now I'm set I can say okay to that and what I'll do is I'll run this job one more time on a clean sheet of paper or actually I can use this one over again and uh, we'll find out if we get the 80 by 80 which we should so let's switch back over to the laser and hit frame and put this back on and just hit start and there we go let me close this dialog box grab this sheet of paper
All right, so now that I've measured it again, you'll see I'm still off just a little bit. I got uh, 82. Come on, camera, focus. What's the problem? All right, there we go. I got 80 on the Y and 82 on the X. So I'm just going to do this one more time. I'm going to come back into the wrench and screwdriver. And we're going to, let's see, the X was off. So we're going to click the three little dots on the X. So Galvo 2 is the X. I'm going to click on that. Requested size was 80. And measured size was 82. And we're going to say OK one more time. See, it adjusted that percentage. We'll say OK. And then we'll just run this job one more time just to make sure. I feel pretty confident that this is going to work now. All right, and that last square is spot on. You can see it's square now as well. There's no bulge, there's no skew, there's no problems with it whatsoever. So we're all set. <laughs> we finished the calibration. So the video took a little bit longer than uh, I anticipated, but we, going through all of the steps, step by step, and filming and everything else takes a little extra time. So if you need to change your, your lens, don't be afraid to do it. Lightburn makes it so easy with their built-in tools that uh, anybody can do this. So feel free to buy some extra lenses. You know, if you want to do some really deep engraving on coins or something like that, get a 75 millimeter lens. Uh, feel free to get all the lenses that you need and just follow this video to set them up. It's like I said, it's real easy, simple, fast and you can do it so i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you today and as always i want to thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one